Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. high school as faculty, staff and students remember a teacher gone too soon. Images tonight of a growing memorial for Ryan Vaught, who also coached track. Fox 13's Justin Matthew shares what happened to Ryan and the legacy he leaves behind. A beloved father, husband and educator, 40-year-old Ryan Vaught died the day after Christmas from a traumatic brain injury. He was a U.S. Marine veteran who served in the Iraq War and taught special needs kids in PE at Dunedin High School. He was also a track and strength training coach. Now the community is mourning his loss. His family says he got out of bed in the middle of the night on December 21st and fell when he was in the bathroom. His symptoms were severe and his wife Teresa took him to the hospital. Took um, CAT scans and realized that he had the occipital fracture and um, a brain bleed. And then he had blood dripping in his ear too, which is why he lost hearing in his right ear. He spent a night in the ICU. After coming out of the ICU, he was treated at the hospital for one more day and then went home. But after some time at home, the symptoms worsened again and he went back to the hospital on Christmas Eve. Ryan was pronounced dead in the hospital the day after Christmas. To get a sense of the impact Ryan had on his students, check out this memorial that's been made for him at Dunedin High School. Signs align the fence with pictures and phrases honoring his life and his legacy. He loved working with those kids. They they respected him, his students. He just, he connected with his yeah. kids on such a different level. And the teachers used to tell him often, I don't understand why these kids talk to you like a normal person and, and listen to you because they don't listen to anybody else. When he wasn't in the gym or on school campus, he'd be in total dad or uncle mode. He was a big family man too. He loved... I have a ton of nieces and nephews in my family, and he, he was always the one. Every time they all saw him, we'll go, Ryan, we go outside, and he just immediately, no question about it, always willing to take them to the park. He was always outside with them. He just wanted everyone to play and keep moving and be outside. Ryan and his wife, Teresa, got married four years ago. They have two kids, a three-year-old daughter and an eight-month-old son. Justin Matthews, Fox 13 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.